It's tax season. Today we talk about tax deductions and tips for both owner operators and company drivers to ensure you get the most out of your tax refund. In this video, we are offering you a comprehensive guide on filling out your taxes as a trucker. We cover tax returns from owner operators and company drivers, what to take advantage of during these unstable times, as well as some interesting data, tips, and tricks to consider. Taxes for truck drivers can be quite a complicated thing. That's why we have asked Ontario-based tax accounting firm, RS2000 Tax Consultants, for their help in this video. They specialize in taxes for truckers and have been servicing most of Ontario since 1994, including both owner operators and company drivers. They provide an in-home or in-business service for their clients, meaning that they come out to you. Their clients will not have to drop off or pick up anything tax related, as all the work is done on site to maintain privacy and confidentiality. Furthermore, RS2000 looks after their client's entire family so they file as a unit and are guaranteed all credits they are entitled to. RS2000 also provides full representation on their work should any reviews or audits from the CRA occur. Now, without further ado, let's get started. For company drivers, keep watching the video. For owner operators, skip to this part of the video. All right, so with company drivers, three things that you must do. Number one is you need to fill out the TL2 form. The TL2 form will be used to cover your meals and lodging on long haul trips. So if you're a long haul driver, you need to fill out this form. This form has to be signed by both yourself and the company that you're working for. Keep in mind that this year, the 2020, they've changed the rate of which a driver can claim meals expenses using the simplified method of 80% of $23 per meal. Multiply that by three meals per day. Before, in previous years, the maximum that you would, you would be able to claim is $17. So again, that went up from $17 to $23 per meal. All right, let's get on to the second form. The second form that you need to be filling out is the T2200 form. And what this form does is can be used to deduct your cell phone bills. So if you're paying Bell or Rogers or any phone provider a monthly fee, you can be claiming 50 to 100% of that phone bill. So if you're talking to your dispatcher, if you're calling them, if that's how you, you get text messages from your dispatcher or the company that you work for, you could be claiming 50 to 100% of that cell phone bill. Over the course of the year, your cell phone bill can range from $1,200 to $2,500. So you could be claiming a deduction on 50% to 100% of that cell phone fee. The third and final form is the G. ST 370 form. Employers and partner GST HST rebate application can be used for a GST and HST return on expenses including cell phone and Canadian meals. So again, if you're paying for your meals, you're also paying HST. You can be claiming back this HST through this form on your meals, also on your cell phone. So just to recap, form number one for company drivers that are on payroll, T L2 form, which helps you with your lodging and your meals. Second form is the T2200, which allows you to deduct your cell phone. And the third thing is the GST370 form, which allows you to claim back your HST. All right, so now let's get to the owner operators and lease operators. Okay, so owner operator is somebody who owns their own truck. A lease operator is somebody who is leasing a truck. You could be on a lease purchase agreement. Uh, anybody who's financing or leasing a truck. Uh, you can use some of these tips on driver ink models. I know here in the GTA it's extremely popular, uh, the driver ink models, uh, but this video is mostly geared for lease operators and owner operators. In this video, I have 15 points to go over with you that you need to make sure that you're deducting, whether you're an owner operator or lease operator. So number one is fuel. This is very commonly known and one of the most important deductions for owner operators. The fuel cost that you spend on the road is fully deductible as it's considered a mandatory cost for running your business. Number two is your insurance. As an owner operator, there's some insurances you must have to operate your business. The premiums that you pay for these insurances 
is deductible. This includes truck insurance and disability insurance, out-of-state medical insurance, buy-down insurance. All these insurances can be deducted. Number three, repairs and maintenance. Your repairs and maintenance are fully 100% deductible. So anything like an oil change, uh, tires, uh, timing belt, anything that happens to your truck throughout the course of the year, you should be saving your receipts and then tallying up the totals. Number four, long haul meals. If you are a long haul driver, then the meals that you purchase while driving is also tax deductible, both in Canada and the US. Although most of who travel for work can only claim 50% of their meals and beverage expense, the rule is different for long haul truck drivers. As a long haul trucker, you can deduct 80% of your meals in Canada and 50% of the meals in the US. Make sure you keep a travel log to prove that you are on the road during the times which you claim your meal allowance. Another thing that you should take note of is that the meal allowance cap has changed from 2019 to 2020. In 2020, your cap meal per day is $23 per meal. In 2019, it was $17. Number five, cell phones. The amount you spend on your cell phone bill is deductible, provided that the cell phone is used for work. So if your dispatcher contacts you on your cell phone, if you get dispatched via email to your cell phone, if you correspond with the dispatcher, via phone your phone is deductible now there is a claim whether it's 50 percent or 100 percent your tax accountant can guide you through that there is a claim of why only 50 percent can be deducted because we use our cell phones for personal use but still you should be claiming at least 50 percent of your cell phone bill on your tax returns number six service vehicle so a lot of people don't know this but if a, a service vehicle is a vehicle used for business purposes for example if you drive to pick up parts for your truck that mileage can be deducted if you're driving to pick up oil to pick up chains to pick up straps tarps if you don't if you use a personal vehicle for that you can claim that mileage on your tax returns Number seven, admin fees from carrier. The admin fees that you incur from the trucking carrier is also tax deductible. So if you're being charged an admin fee from the company that you work for, for dispatch costs, whatever admin fees you have, you can claim those fees. Number eight, office supplies. This can include the office supplies and miscellaneous supplies that requires you to keep your business going. For example, a clipboard, paper logs, printers, maps, pens and pencils, staplers, etc. Miscellaneous supplies can include tools and workwear such as gloves, safety boots, and driving glasses. This year especially, you should be claiming if you bought a mask, if you bought sanitizer, if you bought uh, anything that has to do with COVID, you can expense that as supplies. Electronics. This one is the same as office supplies. So if you have a CB radio, if you purchased a CB radio, if you purchased a GPS, if you need to update your maps and it costs money on your GPS, those are all deductible. Also, very popular these days are dash cams. If you have a dash cam and there's a monthly fee for the recording of that dash cam, that is 100% deductible and you should be taking advantage of that. Number 10, accounting and bookkeeping fees. So if you have an accountant that is claiming your monthly HST, if they're doing your annual uh, tax returns and you pay them a fee, whether it's a monthly fee or a quarterly fee, um, if somebody's doing your IFTA and you're paying them, these are all considered to be accounting fees. So you, they are 100% deductible. Number 11, tolls and scales. The tolls that you pay while driving your load on the highway bridges scales can all be used as a tax deduction. Even if it's US tolls, Canadian tolls, you should be deducting your tolls and bridges in your tax returns. Number 12, office space. This can include, if applicable, utilities, mortgage, interest property, taxes that you pay for your office space. If a portion of your house, if you use a room from your house that is considered to be your office space, you can start deducting or claiming a portion of your mortgage, a portion of your property taxes, and a mortgage of your utilities you can claim off of your taxes. So again, if you have a room inside a house that that's where that's your office and you classify that as your office space, you can start claiming a portion of your mortgage, property taxes, and utilities on your tax returns. Number 13, depreciation of your truck. 
If you're claiming the depreciation of a truck, when the truck is brand new or your first year of owning it, you can claim 20%. And then after that, it's 40% thereafter. So for example, if you bought a truck for $100,000, in your first year you can claim 20%, which is $20,000, you can write off as a depreciation, and then 40% of the remainder balance thereafter. Number 14, truck and trailer interest. So if you own your truck or trailer and you financed it, this refers to the financing or leased cost you incur on your truck. These are fully deductible as well. Number 15, bank charges. A lot of people don't know this, but if you have a business account, a US and Canadian account, there are monthly fees for this account. You can claim 100% of these bank service charges. If you have a line of credit and there's interest on that line of credit, those charges you can also claim back. All right guys, so just a quick recap on those 15 points, okay? So number one, you make sure you deduct all your fuel, your insurance, repairs and maintenance, your meals, your cell phone, service vehicle, admin fees, office supplies, electronics, accounting and bookkeeping fees, tolls and scales, your office space in your home if applicable, depreciation of a truck, your truck interest, and your bank charges. All right, so now let's get into the second part of this video. What to take advantage of in these unstable times? The first thing is to get your taxes filed up to date. This should be the first priority during COVID so that you don't lose any past credits you and your family may have been receiving. It will also ensure that if any other emergency programs get launched or if existing ones are extended by the government over the next month that you qualify for, you will be ready to apply. The expectation will be that if you need to access a program, your taxes have to be up to date and current. The second thing is COVID related programs. The programs that apply are the CEWS, the Canada Emergency Wage Subsidy, the CERS, which is the Canada Emergency Rent Subsidy, and the CEBA, which is the Canada Emergency Business Account, and the CERB, the Canadian Emergency Response Benefit. Do they apply to you? How and where should you apply and how should you file them on your 2020 taxes? A tax accounting firm such as RS2000 can help you with these questions and concerns. So again, to recap, if you want to take advantage of these unstable times, your taxes have to be filed and up to date, okay, for you to take advantage of any of these subsidies that the government is giving. The third and final part of this video is tips and tricks for truckers. The most important tip is to have a bookkeeping system or a bookkeeper in place. This can be as simple as a daily logbook that an owner operator files daily or weekly, or an app or a computer program like QuickBooks. It keeps you in the loop of your business and on top of things. CRA, should you be audited, will accept nothing less. Also, open all correspondence from CRA. Do not throw away those brown envelopes. If you're filing regularly, nothing should be a surprise to you. Number one mistake for owner operators is not treating yourself as a business. Well, guess what? You are a business. Many jump from company driver to owner operator thinking that there will be an increase in salary. And obviously, oftentimes it is for those who hire the right services to help, like a tax consultant or bookkeeper. So that concludes everything for this topic on truck drivers and taxes. Make sure you take advantage of your huge tax refund. You will get it if you claim it. You just need to know the right things to claim, which we've outlined in this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our channel. I'll catch you in the next one.